One of my favorite features in Sage 50 or Peachtree is the financial statement designer. It gives you a lot of flexibility and today we're going to talk about one way that you can make some summarized financial statements. There's more. There's several ways you can go about it, but we're going to talk about the roll-up feature today. Here I'm looking in uh, Bellwether Garden Supply, the sample company, and you can see that they've got a bunch of different sales accounts here and they all have the same core account number with a different extension on them for each department. Now maybe you just want to see some summarized statements or um, you might not want to show this much detail to um, say your bank or someone like that. So the roll-up feature is, is going to be your answer in this situation. So start out by previewing the financial statement you want to start out with and click the design button up at the top and here you'll be brought into the into the design window and the roll up is determined you know, is controlled within each line description so here this line description um, enters a range of accounts onto this report so you can double click on it or you can right click and choose properties and over here on this print option we want to change this to roll up and you can either scroll through the list until you find it or if you click in there and type R, and that'll jump you right to it. Now the roll-up mask works on um, how many account numbers you want to be matching in order for it to roll those up into one line. And we're going to say that we want uh, five characters, and then we have a dash, and then we're going to use two wild cards to represent the department. We'll click OK and preview that. And now you can see that all those sales accounts have been rolled up into one line. Now we're going to go back in here and take a little bit closer look at how we set up that roll-up mask. Now I like to use you know, consecutive numbers there. I just count up to get the number that I need because you don't, it doesn't really matter what you put in there. I could have put 40,000, you know, like the account number range, and that would still work. You know, or you could put anything else in there as long as it's five characters that's what really matters it can be pretty much any characters except the two asterisks which are your wild cards and also I had included the dash as a character so really what I'm saying is to make six characters match um, if we had an account that was maybe set up as, just as a heading and it was 40,000 with no dash or department number on it then using this for a while uh, a roll-up mask would exclude that but you could substitute another wild card for the uh, for the dash there and then if there was no extension at all it would still get picked up um, in your roll-up so you'll see that in this case we get the same results using a wild card in place of the dash now we're also going to look at our cost of sales sections. Here you can see that we've got our 50,000 accounts that are product cost, and then 57s are direct labor, 572 is material, 573 is subcontractor cost. So if we want to roll these up based on the first uh, first three characters, we can go back into design, into our cost of sales, come over here, type an R for roll up. And then we could just say one, two, three, and then the remaining wild cards to fill out the rest of the length of the account number. Click OK, preview, OK. And now you can see that we've got our product cost rolled up, our direct labor rolled up, material cost, and subcontractors. So that's the basics of the roll up right there. Just remember that when you're done customizing your report, you can just click the Save button, give it a new name, save it, and then you'll always have that report showing up in your list of reports. So that's one way that you can summarize your financial statements using Rollup. Hope you find that useful.